the day on the new Leave it to Beaver. You bought us a Canadian air conditioner? Of course not. Bulgarian. You're picking up the air conditioner. I'm going along to make sure you don't screw it up. All right. Just a walking down the street singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. I bring that over. I remember. That was three hours ago. But I will change that light bulb. <laughs> Mary Ellen! In here, June! <sighs> Can you believe this heat? No. This morning I took a shower and ran out of cold water. Uh, well, I brought you another pen. Oh, Bless you. I know I shouldn't butt in, Mary Ellen. But you know, your air conditioning should have been in months ago. I know, but Eddie says he can't put the air conditioner in until he puts the vents in. And he can't put the vents in until he puts the ducts in. And he can't put the ducts in until he puts the air conditioner and in. And you guys bought that. Now, come on. Wally's got to put his foot down. I know, I know. He's discussing it with him right now. Canada! Canada! Oh, Somebody shoot him. He's going to kill you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, wait, you're oh, no. Canada! Oh, my air conditioner oh, doing in Canada! Oh, 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 I'm asking you a question. Come on, come on. Let's go in and get five. Don't want to catch a chill. Come on. Grandma, it's 102. Summer colds are the worst kind. My air conditioner doing in Canada. Boop, boop, Fido. Another minute, you'd have a murder rap on your hands, and I'd sue your butt. Shut up. Where's my air conditioner? I told you, it's those whining Canucks. First, it's acid rain. Then it's tighter controls of the customs. You bought us a Canadian air conditioner? Of course not. Bulgarian. You'd be the first on your block to have communist climate control. Now, why would we want that? Hey, what are you, against glass nose? Look, I don't want to hear any more of your stories. I want you to get in your truck, get my air conditioner, get back here and install it. You know, that's a thought. I've always wanted to fish the Great Lakes. I hear they have sturgeon there the size of Gert's mother. Honey, I'm gonna have to take care of this myself. You are? Hey, now you're talking. Here's the keys to my truck. Make sure you bring it back full. Uh, you're picking up the air conditioner. I'm going along to make sure you don't screw it up. All right. Two buddies on the open highway. The wind blowing through our hair. Just like Route 66, except in color. Hi, Wally. Hey. Did you realize that in the old days people had to live like this? <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, Mom said you're going to Canada with Eddie, so I got you something for the trip. Oh, thanks. It's a medical alert bracelet. <laughs> you don't like Eddie very much, do you? Oh, does it show? Look, I know I should have fired the guy a long time ago, but I can't. My friend. Some friend. Name one thing he's ever done for you. Name one thing he's ever done for anybody. Exactly. He's a creep. Yeah, I know, I know. He's selfish, dishonest, and completely unreliable. So why are you friends with him? Well, because he's... <laughs> he got me. Maybe you should think about that. <laughs> Hey, 
Danny, you just missed the on-ramp. Yeah, I know. There's a little market a few miles down the road. They got a sale on beer. 12-pack for $3.99. Turn this truck around. Hey, I know it doesn't taste the greatest, but the alcohol content's the same. Hey! <laughs> Are you nuts? Don't you know anything about highway safety? Look, Eddie, this isn't going to be a bass reporting on wheels. We're going up to get my air conditioner, and we're coming straight back. Nothing else. Is that clear? Boy, if I wanted to ride with a stiff, I would have asked the beef to come along. <laughs> Pork ring? No, thanks. It's a new flavor. Garlic. Hey, what are you doing? You're letting the heat in here. I just put a new air conditioner in this, baby. Bulgarian? Are you kidding? Cuban cigars in Canada. We could buy 12, 14 boxes, hide them in the air conditioner, take them home, we make a fortune. No. Yeah, you're right. Customs would find them. All right, we weld a secret compartment under the gas tank. They'll never look there. Eddie, we are not smuggling cigars. Stereo equipment? No. Now, look, I, I don't want to hear another word. You know, you're starting to get on my nerves. Just sit there. Where am I going to go? Not a word. Dean, the Civic Center. Hey, look, Sam. This is my truck we're riding in. Okay, okay, but could we find some rock and roll or something? I'd love to. But there hasn't been any decent rock and roll since Elvis discovered jelly donuts. <laughs> we sure had some great ones back then, huh? <laughs> Tutti Frutti, Great Balls of Fire, Sugar Sugar. <laughs> hey, I got one for you. There she was, just a walking down the street singing. Snapping her fingers and shuffling her feet, singing. Hey, come on, Wally. This is a car trip. You're supposed to sing songs. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more chance. There she was, just a walking down the street, singing. <laughs> Snapping her fingers and shuffling her feet, singing. Do a diddy diddy dum. Did he do? She looked good. She looked good. She looked fine. She looked fine. She looked good. She looked fine. Then I nearly lost my mind. Before I knew when she was walking next to me, singing, do I diddy diddy dum diddy do? Do I diddy diddy dum? You don't even know the words. Smiling and acting just as natural as can be, singing, do I diddy diddy dum diddy do? She looked Good, she look good, she look fine, she look fine, she look good, she look fine, whoa, hey! Hey, Eddie, you got any more of those pork rinds? Yeah, sorry. Finished them about 20 miles ago. Hey, Wally, you ever think about hitting the open highway, leaving all the headaches behind? Job, family. Starting a whole new life. No, not really. Do you? Yeah, once in a great while. <laughs> Usually after dinner. <laughs> Come on, you don't really mean that. I don't. You've got two fine sons and a loving wife. You can't tell me that you hate your life as much as you let on. Molly, have you taken a close look at Gert lately? <laughs> Eddie, why do you always talk about Gert that way? Yeah, actually, she's not that bad. But I could have done better. You know, you didn't do too bad. 
Yeah, that Mary Ellen's all right. <laughs> yeah, with her bleach blonde hair and her knockout figure. Ah, the way she used to look at me. Huh? Hey, you know the look. <laughs> ah, but I never would have stolen her from you. I'm not that kind of a guy. I appreciate that, Eddie. <sighs> okay, Wally. <laughs> it's just you and me and the coyotes out here. Be honest. Have you ever fooled around on the old ball and chain? Absolutely not. Eh, hey, come on, Wally. Open up. Don't you even look at other women? <laughs> well, just because a man's on a diet doesn't mean he can't look at the menu. <laughs> that good talking. <laughs> eh, of course, I'm more of a binge and purge man myself. <laughs> eh, Wally, you're all right, you know? You've stood by me through all my bad times. Eh, take this remodeling job. Any other guy would have fired me by now. You're a true friend, amigo. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> oh, and, uh, Wally, remember what I said about the pork rinds? Yeah. Highway robbery. Why do I pay taxes anyway? Hey, Wally, give me a few. Ah, Wally, old boy, you're gonna thank me for this. We're gonna make some real time now. the interstate. And it wasn't cost efficient. <sighs> All the delays, the toll gates, the smokies. <laughs> Who needs it? So now we're driving down some dark back road in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, and we're flying. No radar guns out here. <laughs> Doesn't matter how fast you're driving if you don't know where you're going. What are you talking about? Don't you remember in the scouts? I was the one that led us to that dead burrow. I know exactly where this road goes. Hey, look! <laughs> Just one of those unforeseeable events. <laughs> Let me just turn this puppy around. <sighs> Pretty exciting, huh? Hey, hey, my life just flies before my eyes. Oh, yeah? Was it as boring as it is from the outside? So now we have to backtrack all the way to the interstate. How far did you drive on this tricky trail, anyway? Mm, about 90 miles. Great. So we lost three hours. Not the way I drive. <laughs> Andy, I don't want you speeding. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about it speeding. We just ran out of gas. <laughs> See, Eddie, this is what I can't stand about you. This sums it all up. Hey, you know your morning breath ain't no bouquet of flowers either, Mildred. I'm talking about always taking shortcuts, always looking for the easy way out. And everything you do is half-baked with no purpose behind it except to avoid effort. <laughs> Lighten up. And we're here. Uh, don't get too comfortable, Wally. Gas tank's on this side. <laughs> hey, Gomer. Fill it up with premium. Check under the hood. Pay the man, Wally. I gotta find the ladies' room. You mean the men's room? No, the ladies' room. This is a great opportunity for me to further expand my reputation. <laughs> Got a pin? Uh-uh. And I'm not paying for the gas either. You know, this whole ordeal is your fault. All right, all right. And I called you a friend. <laughs> Listen, we've toyed with you long enough. 
my partner and I are from the Bureau of Weights and Measures. And surprise, this is an inspection. Huh? Don't play dumb. We've got reports down at the office that say that these pumps are light on the gas and heavy on the cash. These pumps? No, your wife's shoes. <laughs> Look, now this truck takes 17.5 gallons exactly. And it better come out on the button. Actually, it takes 20 gallons. I love to watch these country bumpkins sweat. <laughs> Want to bite a beef jerky? There she was, just a walking down the street singing. All right, Wally, I give up. Why are you mad at me now? You really have to ask? Hey, my con was working until you wimped out and paid the guy. You think you're above it all, don't you, Eddie? You know, Beaver asked me to come up with one thing that you've ever done for me, and I couldn't do it. I can't come up with one thing that you've ever done for anybody. Oh, yeah? Ah! I'm doing something for somebody. You drive, Wally. I'm gonna want both my hands free. Oh. Hello there, sweet thing. Hi. How far are you going? As far as you'll let me. <laughs> Great. Oh, thanks for stopping. I thought I'd never get a ride. When I saw you out here all alone, I thought, I sure wouldn't want my daughter out on a road like that. <laughs> uh, not that I married her anything. <laughs> Hi, I'm Molly. I'm Wally Cleaver. And uh, this is... Dakota. Uh... So, uh, this is a pretty remote place to be hitchhiking. Oh, you're telling me. My last ride dumped me here hours ago. Thank goodness you came along. Think of us as angels of mercy. Welcome to Cloud Nine. <laughs> so, what brings you guys out to these parts? Well, if the truth be known, we're casting agents. We're scouring the country in search of fresh new faces. Oh, really? Yeah, we're doing a big network miniseries. What's it called? <laughs> Molly's world. <laughs> Done any acting? A little. Huh? Like what? Like right now, I'm pretending to be a hitchhiker. Pull over. Don't do it, Wally. She's broken. Pull over, Wally. What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? <laughs> Up against the truck. And don't try anything stupid. I think we've reached our stupid quota for the day. <laughs> Listen, Molly, you seem like a nice girl. <laughs> I'm just a poor guy who's trying to pick up an air conditioner so his family doesn't die of heat stroke. Pretty speech. What are you, a social worker? Uh, no, I'm a lawyer. Now I don't feel so bad. Give me all your cash. You too, Dakota. Come on, out with the wallet. By the way, Wally, here's that hundred bucks I owed you. <laughs> so, uh, this is what you do all day? Go around robbing innocent people? Yep. Me too. I'm in construction. Okay, now the jewelry. Let's go. Watches, rings. <laughs> Could I at least keep my wedding ring? <sighs> yeah. Okay, boys, strip. You first. <laughs> now, wait just a second. You've taken our money and our watches. We've suffered the trauma and humiliation of being ordered around at gunpoint, but this is where we draw the line. You can take our material possessions, but you can't take away our dignity. You tell her, Wally. I bet that gun's not even loaded. Well, at least we get a good hand today. <laughs> you know, Eddie, none of this would have happened if you'd have stayed on the interstate where they have street lights and policemen. <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna blame this one on me. All right, so I'm not a good judge of character. 
But this isn't the worst thing that could happen to us. <laughs> she put a gun to our head. Yeah. Reminded me of my wedding day. <laughs> Forget it. We're stranded. We have no money, no car, no clothes. Even you wouldn't be stupid enough to pick us up. You're looking at this all wrong, Wally. First of all, my insurance company is going to get me a brand new truck. <laughs> we'll tell them your air conditioner was in a back. They'll pony up for that, too. With any luck, we'll have enough left over to buy you some decent underwear. A lot of good that's going to do us. 400 miles from home without a penny in our pockets. We don't even have any pockets. OK, OK. I think I've got it. First of all, we find us enough pop bottles to buy me some nice threads. Then the next cow town we come to, we tell them that you're jogging across country to raise money to fight the rare disease that's slowly taking your life. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> uh, you're one of a kind, Eddie. No matter what happens, you never say die, do you? Well, you love me, isn't it? <laughs> well, it sure isn't because of your legs. <laughs> Retro fashion is a hit. Be in with a cool sense of self on street noise. Then be there when Ronnie scams Emil from Adventures of the Black Stallion star Mickey Rooney on The Ron Oliver Show. Catch YTV's Tuesday Twistabout tomorrow night starting at 8.30. <laughs>